guys, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So this morning I am filming like a pass the brush challenge with some of my friends and the theme is like famous painting inspired. So because this is going to be pretty involved, I was like, well, I want to film it for YouTube as well. So here I am. My famous painting that I want to do is Starry Night by Van Gogh. It just looks like such a beautiful blend of like navy blues, blues, yellows, blacks, um, and it just looks so pretty. Hopefully I can execute it well. I'm going to try to paint it just on the bottom half of my face. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So first, I'm going to just put some foundation on my face. I will link everything that I use down below, but it is not much, just a couple of things this time. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take some brown eyebrow pencil and just sketch where I want things to be on my face. You'll see that I am not doing any of the little houses on the bottom of the actual painting because that looked hard and I did not wanna tackle it because it'll probably look terrible. You can also, by the way, skip this outline part if you like and if you're confident enough just going in with face paints, but I am not that confident. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline where I want things to be before I mess it up. So I'm gonna go in with my face paint now. This is the Mehran Paradise face paint, and I absolutely love this face paint. And I think I'm gonna be using this voiceover as more of just like tips and tricks for you guys because the whole process from here on out is kind of the same. So you'll see that I'm constantly glancing over at something and it's because I have the painting pulled up on my phone and I'm basically just trying to copy it the best I could. Because cameras and mirrors like flip everything, what I did was I flipped the painting on my phone along the vertical axis so that it looked backwards on my phone, backwards on my face kind of, and then like it flips it in the camera. I don't know how to explain it, but I had to flip it on my phone in order for this to look right on my face. So you'll notice that with all of Van Gogh's paintings, he uses segmented brush strokes in order to make his paintings. He doesn't use like very blanket swatches of color, filling things in. Uh, that's just not really his style. And so he just takes segmented brush strokes and layers colors over colors over colors to achieve that look that is so iconically his. And so I started with the whites and the yellows, the lighter colors, eventually moving into the blues, the dark blues, the blacks even. And so you'll want to basically notice that the brush strokes in the painting are along the flow of movement. So you'll want to make sure that, you know, the brush strokes within the hills are all pointing in one direction, within the swirl are all pointing in one direction. The brush strokes around like the yellow stars are in like that circular motion. I think the way that he does it with the way that brush strokes are made really brings movement to the paintings and that's what I'm trying to replicate here. You want to be more careful with the darker colors that you're not going too wild because it's very hard to bring it back after something is too dark. You can always add darker colors but it's very hard to come back from darker colors. But you will also want to make sure that you are, you know, just being careful and layering colors over colors. So even here where it's like a black or a very, very dark navy blue, you'll notice that in his painting, they aren't, it's still not a solid color. Like there's bits of yellow in here. And so I'm adding that and going back in with like that black or a darker blue. And you just have to be very patient and trust the process. Like I thought that in the beginning that this was going to be like a total fail, but then I just kept going at it and it ended up being okay. So you'll see me layer like whites on top of blues and then yellows, but then going back to whites. And I'm basically just trying to make sure that the different sections of the painting is clear, I guess, uh, that the hills are visible and that the different, you know, there's, there's different amounts of color balance within each section. So I'm just trying to find that and I swear I have like six layers of paint on my face because I kept having to go back and forth between the whites and the yellows and the blues. But I actually really like how that turned out. So then after I finished this on the bottom half of my face, I wanted to keep it super simple up top. So I just threw some brow gel on, some mascara, and popped on some colored contacts. And that was it finishing my look. So that is it for my tutorial today. I'm actually very impressed with how this turned out. I didn't know how I was going to be able to do the swirls and let make it look like it was actually swirling, but I love how this turned out and I don't want to wash it off. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and hanging out with me today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye!